Hi boys and girls. Now we're going to start coloring our geometric shape robot. I am going to use washable markers and water, but you can use whatever supplies that you have available. In this particular video, I'm showing you how to transform your markers into watercolors. So what I'm doing is I'm just tracing around the shape with the marker, just giving it a nice little line and I'm going to blend with water after I'm all done. If you're not doing this technique, meaning you're not using markers and water, then you should fill in all the areas of your robot, just like you normally would. You may use any colors you want and any material you'd like. However, I'm not going to be coloring in my background or any of the details in the background, like the toys. I'm gonna to leave that for later for using some other materials. Now that my whole robot is colored in, and you'll notice that I did not color in the background or the toys, I just left them blank for later. But now that my whole robot is colored in, I'm actually gonna be using the water, and we're gonna see what that does when I add water to my markers. And you can see I get this beautiful wash, so it almost gives it like a 3D look too. It gets darker on the outside, and then as you go towards the middle of the shape, it's going to get lighter. And I'm making sure that I wash my brush um, every time I use a different color. Once I'm done with the water, I'm going to let it dry and then I'll start coloring my background. I'm going to use colored pencils for my background. I like how they're lighter than the marker so that it won't stand out as much. So I'm just going to nicely fill in all the white spaces. I'm gonna start with the toys on the floor and then I'll color in the floor and the wall. I'm gonna make sure that I'm coloring nice and neat and in one direction and making sure as best I can, I stay inside the lines. And now I'm done with my robot drawing and I can post to Artsonia. I hope you had fun boys and girls.